We need to get to the shore. Please help us. I always had this ambition of making a film in Alaska because I, I've been spending my summers there since I was 12. It was inspiring to me. Uh, there was something about the landscape that was surreal that I felt had a lot of character to it. And I didn't know what kind of film I wanted to make there, but I knew that whatever it was going to be it was going to use Alaska as a character. We spent about four weeks in Alaska shooting with a, a cast and crew of, of 15 people. And uh, we went there with a feature script, but with the intention of improvising along the way. The weather in Alaska is extremely unpredictable. You know, from being up there, um, you know, since I was a kid, I knew this. So rather than fighting it, I really wanted to embrace it. We gave the actors the first 30 pages of the script before we went. But when we went up there, they didn't know what was coming after those 30 pages. So um, Victoria and I would make adjustments with the script based on certain things we would improvise and we'd give pages to the actors each day before the shoot. Part of my goal was to have them focus on the moment rather than anticipate the future or what was coming next. They knew where they came from, where they were, but not where they were going. And it was in hope that they would continue to surprise all of us and, uh, and that we'd all be surprised by the project. Along the way, we started pulling back more than we added, and uh, even when we were editing, we were you know, stripping away bits of exposition and dialogue, um, because the project kind of became an exercise in restraint, and we really wanted to see how much we could do um, with showing and, and not telling, and, and really rely on the, uh, the visuals and sound to immerse a viewer in the space with these characters. Because essentially, we were, we were making a, a character-driven film. And, you know, we kind of wanted to put the viewer in, in the space with them and hope that the that people will project themselves onto it and kind of bring their own personal experiences to it. I've always been a fan of experimental filmmaking and not in just how we make films, but also how we experience them. And I do really believe that form and content have to be a marriage, but I'm really attracted to form and how we could communicate ideas and emotions with form in the same way that we do with content. And there's something exciting about it. I think, especially as independent filmmakers, there's something really exciting about, uh, you know, searching for what that next wave of a cinematic experience can be.